What's going on, Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and today I'm bringing you episode two of our paid membership website in Wix mini series delivered here every Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. MST until we go ahead and complete the series. Today I'll be showing you how to add the member sign up process or login process, I should say, after they've already gone through that payment process, which we covered in episode one linked in the card above. If you're brand new here on the channel, thank you so much for watching. And if you're brand new on the series, make sure to check out episode one. But more importantly, hit that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any videos in the series or on the channel. And you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. A pretty great place to be with an even better community. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into episode two. All right, so we're here in the editor. Episode two is gonna be a much more expedited video as compared to episode one where we were kind of laying the framework. And here's the thing I want you to do, okay? So I know you have so many questions regarding building a paid membership website in Wix, and I wanna make sure to cover all of them with this series because as promised, I want this series to be the complete guide, the complete toolkit. So right now, before we even dive into this, I want you to comment below and let me know your biggest question regarding how to build a paid membership website in Wix so that way I can cover it during the series. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way and you've let me know your most burning question regarding building a paid membership website, what we're gonna do is we've built out the payment process in the last video. If you haven't seen episode one, go ahead and click the card above to check it out. So with that, we got to the part where they went through and they were purchasing their membership tier with PayPal. Now here's the thing. They need a way to actually access their member profile, correct? So what we're gonna do in this video is add that way to access their member profile. And then in our next video, we'll actually build out the member profile. We'll actually start uh, limiting pages, building out pages, building out databases for content, some membership websites won't need databases some membership websites will and i'm going to show you how to do all of that in our next video in this video i'm going to show you how to at least get people to log in to their profile and it's very easy what we're going to do is we're going to go to this add button right here and then we're going to scroll down to members and now we are going to go ahead and click add to site when we add a members area to the site what it's going to do is wix is actually really ramped up their members area and their members system, right? So it's not foolproof, but it's much more improved as to when it was just launched. Once this happens, you can now see that we've got our member page linked up and here's how it works. So when we added it, it adds it as a separate page, but it adds it as a member page, not on the traditional just regular site pages. It adds it as a member page and it adds it as my account. You'll also notice, and this is the important note, that this login bar has been added to the top of the page. What this login bar will allow you to do is it will allow you to, uh, allow your users to log in or sign up. Now, granted, you can set up login bar right here. You can choose what does the bar show and it can be profile pick and member's name, and it would show up like that. It could just be profile pick, it could just be member's name. You can choose the design and how you'd like it to be set, and then you can choose what does the bar say before login, what's the log out message, log out, and then if you click member sign up settings, this is where you can choose how people go about logging in and signing up. So when uh, excuse me, who can be a member? Well, if you want it to be only people you approve that you know have purchased your membership, that's fine. However, you're not going to have to do that because of the permissions we're going to set on pages further down the road here. And then what options f show first? Either a new member sign up or existing member login. Since everyone has to sign up when they go through your paid plans checkout process, choose existing member login here. So that way the default says login, not sign up. Next, 
you'll click done. Here's what's important to note. What happens is, is this login bar is going to be added to the top, the header of each page, which means it'll be shown on every page. So what it'll allow you to do is actually keep your login throughout your entire site. So that way when people come back after they purchase their paid plan, because here's what happens. On paid plans right now, we don't have a way to control the, the return URL destination, unfortunately. It's not the greatest setup and Wix is working on this. So what will happen is they'll pay through PayPal and they'll be redirected back to the home page of the website. Again, not ideal. However, if we have the login bar on that, they created an account and they signed up and registered when they went through that paid plans registration process. So all they'll have to do is go log in. So for instance, if we went back to site mem mem menu, went to home, and we clicked preview, we can see the login bar is up here, right? And if I logged out, we have to be in the published site. If I logged out, it would say log in here on this little member bar, right? But I'm default logged in because I'm the admin of the site. And you will be too. Uh, so that's important note as well. So you can go to my account from this login page and then they're taken to my account. So this is one way of doing that. Now in the next video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to cover creating a members area, not just going to my account, but also having more pages for members, not just this my account with nothing on it. On this My Account page, you can see they can change their login email, first name, last name, contact email, phone number, and you can update more fields than that if you'd like, but this is just the basic My Account, and they can change their profile picture, stuff like that, so that way it carries with them throughout the site as they interact as a member. But we actually need to build specific member pages for them, so that way you can deliver those different perks that you would promised they would receive as a member with each of the different membership tiers. But that's how you add the login process. You can create a custom login process as well. And I'll go ahead and throw a card to a video above where I show how to create a custom login process. There's no problem with that at all. So that's an option as well. And again, I'll throw a link above uh, a card above with a link to show you how to build a custom login process if you don't want to build it off of the back of the Wix members. However, what you could also do is you can create a hybrid. You don't have to use this login bar if you don't want. You can use a custom login process with a custom login screen and then still have it redirect to this members page, but you have to have the members app added in order for you to do that and create that hybrid mix, which is what I do with... Um, Wix Training Academy. I've got a hybrid. I've got a custom uh, registration, custom login, but then I've got the Wix members app at the backbone kind of managing some of the other stuff and the profiles. So it's really up to you how you'd like to manage it. I like the hybrid method best personally as that's the one I use, but you may just need this standard Wix setup and then get more sophisticated when you're actually building out the content sections of your site and the members pages and getting more uh, sophisticated with restrictions and permissions. We'll have to determine that when we get to that step, which is in our next video. For now, I hope you enjoyed learning at least the login process and kind of how that works and how you can create a hybrid. If you did, drop a like down below. Please remember to comment and let me know your most burning question regarding how to build a paid membership website so I can address it in this series. And lastly, don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button Turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any videos in this series or on the channel and you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. A pretty great place to be when learning this paid membership website series and an even better community. Who doesn't want to be a part of it? We're awesome. We're having fun over here. We're encouraging each other. That's what we're here to do to help you build the best paid membership website possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to tune in Friday for our next video. Not of this series, different series. Otherwise, I'll catch you then.